Iowa Republican politicians want to solve the Reynolds workforce crisis on the literal backs of children. Senate file 542 will allow 14 and 15 year olds to work in roofing, in excavation, in dangerous manufacturing, in the operation of saws and guillotine shears, and in demolition. Roofing, excavation, and demolition are some of the deadliest occupations for adults, to say nothing of teenagers. Roofers had the fifth highest rate of work-caused deaths in America. That fatality rate is almost 10 times higher than a typical American job. No Iowa teenager should be working in America's deadliest jobs. It jeopardizes their lives and the lives of everyone else at that work site. That is not going to make Iowa a more attractive place for workers, and it's not going to solve the Reynolds workforce crisis. I rise today in strong opposition to Senate File 542. Now, Senate Democrats agree with Senate Republicans that the Reynolds workforce crisis that is ravaging our state's economy needs solutions. This year, Senate Democrats have introduced bill after bill after bill to address the Reynolds workforce crisis, including legislation to fix our state's broken child care system, fully funding preschool, and boosting wages for Iowa workers. Senate Democrats know that everyday Iowans need a better deal, and Iowans deserve a better deal than the one that they're getting from Iowa Republicans. The fact that they're not getting a better deal is why so many young Iowans are leaving Iowa and why so many young families are choosing not to come home. Because rather than passing the common sense bills introduced by Senate Democrats, Iowa's Republican politicians have continued to pour gasoline on the culture war fire, passing bills that attack public education, attack LGBTQ Iowans, and attack the right of women to control their own bodies. These divisive bills pit Iowans against each other and make this workforce crisis worse, not better. And now, rather than actually addressing the root of the problem, Iowa Republican politicians are advancing legislation to roll back child labor protections that, as we heard, were hard won and that that protect our youngest workers from being in harm's way. Now, let's be crystal clear. Senate Democrats strongly support the right of Iowa's young adults to work and grow in safe and age-appropriate work settings. As a teenager, I worked in a variety of jobs, including using potentially dangerous equipment in lawn care, in literal life-saving situations as a lifeguard. With the right training, equipment, and legal protections, Iowa has so many opportunities for young people to work in safe, rewarding, and character-building settings, and Iowa Democrats have both benefited from and strongly support those opportunities. But Iowa Democrats know that child labor in dangerous workplace settings is a real and persistent problem in our state and our country. Earlier this year, one of the largest food sanitation companies in America was fined $1.5 million dollars after a Department of Labor investigation found that they were illegally employing over 100 children as young as 13 years old across the Midwest, cleaning meatpacking plants and slaughterhouses. How many of you have children this age? Or grandchildren? How many of you would be comfortable with your child or grandchild using dangerous cleaning equipment and experiencing caustic chemical burns like some of these exploited children did? This legislation will make illegal behavior like this more common, not less. And we all know it. Senate Democrats are not worried about the good faith businesses in our state who we can trust to maintain safe workplaces. We're not worried about the grocery store or the movie theater. And after this amendment, I'm a lot less worried about the restaurants or hotels. As our founding fathers wrote in Federalist 51, if men were angels, no government would be necessary. But Senate Democrats know that not all businesses are run by angels. In fact, just this past weekend, as Iowa State lawmakers were touring a construction site in Lynn County, they saw not just unsafe workplace conditions, but at least one underage worker who, upon being asked his age, was instructed by a supervisor to respond that he was 18. By voting yes on Senate File 542 and loosening these protections, 
Senate Republicans will be putting more kids into dangerous workplace settings. That is what we are worried about. Republicans are going to say this bill is about giving Iowa youth more opportunities to join the workforce, but allowing kids into these potentially dangerous workplace settings shows Iowans the truth. This bill puts Iowa children in danger, allowing 14 and 15 year olds to work in roofing, in demolition, in excavation. Some of the most deadly jobs in America poses a danger to everyone on that work site to say nothing of its violation of federal child labor laws providing minimum protections that were enacted nearly a century ago. The Reynolds workforce crisis is real. Apparently, Senate Democrats and Republicans finally agree on that. But we cannot and should not solve this crisis on the backs of children.